It remains to be seen whether BP will be successful in choking off the leaking crude, but the company plans to force-feed it heavy drilling mud and cement. It's a procedure called a top kill, and it's often used above ground, but has never been tried so far underwater. BP's CEO rates its chances for success at between 60 and 70 percent. I think weeks ago it should have been done what they're doing now. I think they're doing everything they can now to, to clear it up and clean it up, and, but it's going to be a long time doing it. A spokesman for BP says it could take anywhere from a few hours to two days to determine if the top kill is working. If it doesn't, the company will probably turn to a smaller version of a containment box that it lowered several weeks ago without success. The company had to abandon the larger containment box when it got clogged with ice crystals, but it hopes the smaller version could work better. Another backup plan would involve shooting golf balls, scraps of rubber tires, and other objects into the well to clog it up. Coastal residents don't just want the leak plugged, they also want the shoreline protected. Put more boom out. Start dredging. Start protecting our marsh. Pump sand. President Obama will head back to Louisiana Friday to review the oil spill's response effort. It comes as his administration is under mounting fire over its supervision of the complex fix-it effort, and it will be his second trip to the region since the spill began. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.